Okay, so here we are in the Optio RSA Writer tool. This is a whole part of the Optio suite of tools that they have created. This is a new one that they've been building out. Uh, pretty excited to, to show it. I, I've had a preview behind the scenes. I've seen how it works and I uh, wanted to give a demo here. This is, this is really neat. So um, right away, let's, let's talk about when you write ad copy in Google, when you write ads, the biggest issues that I find is the speed and efficiency of getting it, just getting it done the way that Google, um, you know, kind of slows you down with having to open, you know, one, one individual ad and you can't see what the other ads look like. And if you didn't take a screenshot of the other ads, you have no idea what your headlines were. You have to go back and look at them. Major headache. This solves that. The second thing that it solves is the ability to see metrics and data all in one screen. So let's conquer that first. Let's talk about how it does that first. Um, one of the first things that's unique about this is, is Optio offers this ad score ability. And this is a metric that you can actually see right on the screen. It, it's, it's, a, it's a unique, ad, ad score is not something that exists in Google Ads. Optio kind of made it up. Um, but it uses four factors that determine a ad score for a particular campaign. Is there an ad in there that has a, at least one conversion? Is there an ad in there that has an above average uh, CTR? Uh, is there an ad that's been updated within the last 90 days? Uh, is there an ad with at least eight headlines? So you can see this at the campaign level, but more importantly, you can see it at the ad group level. So if you have a whole bunch of ad groups pulled up here, you'd be able to see, okay, this ad has had no conversions or it's not, it doesn't have enough headlines or, you know, some, some reason why it would need attention. And that's part of the reason Optio is so nice is because it gives you the tools, gives you the, the layout to be able to see these things without keeping a spreadsheet or, you know, massive notes to kind of watch these kind of things. So what we do uh, is click uh, in to the ad group in order to create an ad, but Next, I want to hit on the next important thing that I talked about that Optio does that Google Ads user interface does poorly, in my opinion, is give you data and metrics just on the screen. You may be able to see it right here at the top right. There's three dots in this little drop down. Okay, I can click that. And the first thing I'm, I'm going to skip, I'm, I'm going to come back to this first thing because it's really neat and I don't want to get into it yet. What is particularly important about the metrics that we see here is that I can see how many of the ad groups have just one ad in, in them, how many have two and how many have three. So if you have certain ad groups that, you know, have a certain uh, volume of ads, how, you know, how much do you spend on those? You know, what's the average CTR? What's the, um, you know, what's, what's the metrics on each one of these that you can check and make sure, you know, uh, it looks like there's a couple clicks that I'm getting that only has one responsive search ad. Maybe I want to try two. Maybe I want to try adding three. It's right here on the screen. No other segmentation in Google ads has this. There is not a way to see this. This is automatically generated right here in Optio. Next, again, a completely new metric. How many of my ads have three to five headlines? So minimum is three. And, uh, you know, if you add a couple more, you have five. So, you can see how many of those, what's the average click-through rate? Um, it, how many of uh, the ads that are six to 10 headlines? What's the, what is that click-through rate? And then how many have 11 or more headlines? You know, what's the click-through rate there? You can kind of start to judge. Wow, you know, look at the difference here. For this one ad that's six to 10 headlines, it has a higher click-through rate than anything else. Something to that, maybe there's some value there. Um, could be. and. You would never know that. There is no way to see this in Google Ads directly. Another really cool example, exact same kind of thing. Your ads that only have two descriptions, three descriptions, and four descriptions. That's another metric shown right here on the screen. And I can see what's the click-through rate, what's the cost, what's the number of uh, clicks that's been received. Okay. Um, next, we get into RSAs with uh, the number of paths. And then last, we get into pinning. This is something we talk about all the time, pinning. Some pinning, just a little bit of pinning, uh, or everything is pinned, or no pins at all. I mean, it's always a big 
debate about should you pin your ads, should you not pin your ads. You know, you could go in and create these labels in in Google Ads UI and and then do a custom uh, uh, dimensions report. And, you know, I mean, it's such a headache. It takes so much time. That's what Optio is here for is to save time. Um, there is a way to see what are my metrics on ads that have no pin, ads that have some pinning and ads that are completely pinned. Every single headline is, uh, is, is pinned. So really interesting. Uh, these are metrics that don't exist anywhere else. That's just a preview. We have not even written an ad yet. Let's write an ad. So if I click into the ad group, um, I am able to see a, uh, a screen here for any drafts, anything that you know has be been created in the past, so I can quickly open that up and continue that draft. Um, but let's start. Let's start from scratch. But but be aware, there is a draft system right here in Google uh, Google Ads, the, the Optio version of Google Ads. It does not exist in Google Ads. There is no draft ad. If you stop an ad and cancel it, it's gone you've now lost that ability, which is, I mean, that can be really annoying. You have to go back. I don't, I don't remember what headlines I use. I, you know, I was so creative and then, you know, my internet went out or my power went out or accidentally closed my laptop and it ran out of battery and I've lost it. This is a way to be able to save these drafts. That's not what we were here to talk about. I just, I just think that's really neat. Anybody who's been in my position where you lose the work that you've done. Again, I want to point out, here's this wonderful layout again of the metrics, but let's jump into creating our first responsive search ad. So all I have to do is open up, create new responsive search ad. And the first thing you should notice is that this is wall to wall. This is a full page of, of ad writing glory. <laughs> In, if you use Google Ads UI any amount of time, you're working in these small little windows. It shrinks everything down into, you know, a smaller size. This is responsive. If you, you make your, your, your window really big, you can see the whole thing. You're not cramped down a small little thing. That's just, that's a small thing that I really enjoy, but it, it's big to me. It's big to me because, you know, working in, the, in, in, in this full page is just such a nice advantage. Let me show you how long it takes to create a new responsive search ad. So right here, there's the little button here. I click that, see that I'm done. I just finished. I could stop the demo right here. And that is literally how fast you can copy an ad from one of your existing ad groups and just paste it in. It's automatically done. And, and then you say, okay, Chris, Google UI can create a draft using my existing. And I say, okay, fine. You got me there. You're right. All right. So let me show you something even better. So let's 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 start over then. Let's say you you want to create a new ad. You want to create something that uh, you know isn't a duplicate of everything else. All right. Let's do that. So first thing I can do is I can scroll down uh, and find some critical information that uh, you know my, I, I might want to uh, explore on this. Okay. So on uh, any of these previews that you see, I can click. And, and copy any of the headlines. All of this is something that can be copied and pasted. But even more important, I can scroll down further and there's these uh, campaign search terms that you can see right here. So I can check my search terms. We'll talk more about that in a second. And then there's the campaign library. This is where all of your work that you've done in the past, you can quickly copy and paste. So if I wanna start right in my ad, I just click that, go to headline one, paste. I click this one, go to headline two, paste. I click this one, go to headline three, paste. Boom, boom, boom. I just wrote three headlines. That's minimum to be able to run a responsive search ad. That's all it takes. Okay. But I can keep going and I can add some more, but let's hold off. Let's say I just want to use those top um, headlines. And then I want to write a couple descriptions. Okay. So let's copy, paste, copy, paste. Done. I just wrote an ad choosing some of the other ones. So it's not a complete duplicate. I'm using some custom choices. I want to put this here and this here. I don't want to put this here. I don't want, I can, I can do that so that I've created basically a duplicate that is somehow customized. Let's go a step further. 
you, let's say that you want some data. Let's say you want to look at some of the headlines that have been used over and over again. This is where I can go in and click the three dots. Uh, up, again, the wonderful three dots. I reference it a lot because I love this little tool. Now I have a top-down sorted list of what the top performing headlines are. I can click gluten-free pancake mix scroll over to one of my headlines and just paste that in. I know that that is already one that uh, is one of my top performing headlines, okay? So now I at least have grabbed that. Then I click this again. Let's see, um, something else that looks really good. Let's do, uh, you know, right there. So let's, let's grab this one, paste that in. Just like that, I'm able to grab certain ones based on the volume, based on the success of the headline in other ad groups right here in this wonderful little window. I have not had to leave my window. I've not had to leave anything, you know, save it, nothing, that kind of stuff. It's all right here. I can, I can scroll through and see all of it. This is critical. This is, this is the kind of thing that, you know, you use Google ads editor for, but you don't get this kind of simplicity of navigation and speed of copy paste and to be able to go through different things. This is, this is the best mashup between Google Ads Editor and a browser-friendly interface. Optio.com has figured it out. I think it's really great. So let's go a few more examples about some of the things that you can do. Okay, so right here at the top, now that I've written a few of the headlines, I can see all of my different, you know, mix of different headlines and I can scroll through them to be able to possibly take a screenshot and show my client, show my boss what that looks like. Just a nice little prep to kind of make sure, did I miss anything? Did I forget anything? Is there something I misspelled? Just kind of a gut check on, you know, on that overall. I can swap between mobile and desktop. Wonderful. Love it. Um, then scroll down a little further. Here's a gut check on what are the competitors saying? There could be a list of multiple competitors I could flip through. There's only one example here, but this is a great way to make sure that you're not just, you know, missing, missing the field completely on what's the tone of the other competitors. What are they saying? Are you copying basically everything else, every, everything everyone else is saying? Maybe you need something more to unique. And this is a great way to check that. And then we change to this little crazy tool here, the AI generated asset. So, you know, I'm getting to the end of my creativity here. I don't know what to choose. I don't know what to pick. Um, I can go in and scroll through this AI generated content. And what it does is grab however AI works. I'm not going to pretend I know how that works, but it grabs into the AI thing and comes up with these unique headlines that are written not by humans. And you say, well, I don't want something not written by a human. The advantage of looking at this AI content is that it stretches the boundaries of what you would typically consider. You know, AI is going to be able to pick things that, you know, aren't off the top of your head. They aren't, there aren't going to be, you know, the typical kind of things that every advertiser is going to repeat. This is going to be unique content that I can just, again, copy and paste. Boom. Just like that. Um, I mean, I mean, there's, some really funny stuff in here. You know, if you're watching the video, you're scrolling through, treat yourself, you know, like I mean, what, a, what a funny little headline there. Pancakes for all, pancake pleasure. I mean, these are like, well, that's kind of weird, but I don't know. It's a responsive search ad. Let Throw it in there, let Google sort it out. Let Google figure out what the best responsive headlines are gonna be. The same thing is true for descriptions. I can go in and add some descriptions, which anyone who writes descriptions know, this is this is some of the harder ones to write because you have a lot more characters. You need to be unique. You can't just say the same thing you said in your headlines. So it's going to be important that you, you know, have something, a unique idea. This is a great way to write some unique ideas. See something, just get outside the box of your head and try and you know come up with something different. This is this is beautiful. I love it. Um, so I'll get off of that. Let's talk now about another unique aspect of this whole tool, campaign search terms. The reason you would want to see search terms when you're writing ad copy is because when someone does a search on Google, 
they're not using your keyword necessarily. They're typing a search term. They're typing the words they want to type. And because of that, now um, you need to make sure that your headlines match what they actually type, which is matching the search term to the headline. So this is important. Um, and there is no tool in Google Ads anywhere that has this kind of check between the most granular aspect of a search campaign and your ad copy, your headlines, and your responsive search ads. I mean, this is wonderful. So great way. And again, I can just click this and paste it. Everything you see on the screen, you can just click and paste. No highlighting, none of that kind of stuff. Then we get into just a list of all the different uh, headlines, which I've already gone through. You can copy and paste any of these. Then last we have the search engine result page. So just a great way to kind of check what's showing up when my most common search term is uh, popping up. You know, is my ad going to fit here? Is this the kind of tone that I want to pick for this kind of search result page? Uh, critically important. Um, so this is, this is great stuff. This is a massive way for you to be able to build an ad, um, check all your metrics, check all the way down to your search terms. And then when you're done, you just hit preview responsive search ad and it will generate a, uh, a page for us. Oh, I, what a perfect example. <laughs> I forgot to add the, uh, the final URL and it wasn't letting me go past boom, just like that. Okay. So it wasn't letting me go past the, the tool knew I had a problem and it fixed it for me. So there we go. So I re I preview and now I can scroll through, see different things. There's, you know, confirmation page to show everything that I've written and then I can push the RSA live. Okay. And it takes it and publishes it straight to the campaign, the ad group that you wanted. It's, it's perfect. It's so much faster. So let's go through real quick the kinds of things that, that you get with this tool. And this all comes with Optio. This, there's no extra charge. There's no extra, you know, subscription fee for anything like this. This is all part of the Optio suite that they're building and growing constantly. There's new stuff coming out, really neat stuff. Um, you can create new or copy existing ad copy. You can use the AI generated ideas. You can see competitor ads. You get this wonderful little ad strength tool. Uh, to be able to do things, you can, um, uh, you, sorry, I said ad strength. Optio uses ad score in there. So that's, that's important. So the ad score, you can see, which tells you a little bit more about your ad copy than typically you would see. Um, you can, while you're doing all this, you can see, you know, what your metrics are at the ad level. How many RSAs do you have? How many headlines are in those RSAs? How many descriptions? Are you using pins? How are those pins performing compared to unpinned things? Um, really great. Then you can see your preview. You can uh, you can copy any of the things you have anywhere else. It's just click and paste and then publish. Guys, this is this is great stuff. Uh, well done, Optio. I I love it. I think it uh, it helps everyday managers get more done in Google ads and, um, really, really glad to see it. I uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.